Our fourth stop of the NRSL Reese's Late Model Series is here live as we go south from our last venue of Sonoma to the wild desert lands of Arizona. Good afternoon everybody, I'm Seth Cole, ready to bring you this exciting event, four laps of racing. Why only four? Because it's a 12 mile street course. This is going to be one of the uh, longer racetracks that these drivers will be on during the course of this season. And this is a very desolate area too. Basically it's just this particular racetrack out here. There's very little flora, very little fauna. It's very, very hot. The drivers in week two had to contend with the cool temperatures of backlands, uh, back road, Blacklands back roads. But today they're going to have to deal with the heat. And this track is also very wide and it's going to give drivers a lot of opportunities to be able to make moves without their opponents being able to throw blocks on them. So we'll see how that comes into play. Only four laps of racing due to the fact that it's only a 12, or that it is a 12 mile road course and uh, obviously no cautions will be on as well. This track, given a very simple name here, Desert Rally Raceway. So we'll see how these drivers do here in the hot deserts of Arizona. As we're going to show you your starting lineup for today's race, as usual, we'll mostly C5 drivers up near the front. O'Neill Balvin credited with the pole position, the only driver to hit the 4 minute 26 second lap. Jessica Shelton in second. Want to also just quickly point out, I mentioned last week at Sonoma that Jessica Shelton was the points leader of the C5 division coming into that race. That was actually incorrect. Uh, I had not looked apparently at the C5 points coming into the race. It was actually Jake Haynes who still remains the points leader of that division coming into today's race. Dusty Allen lines up in third after a second place run last week at Sonoma. Dylan Young in fourth. Strigley fifth. Gardner sixth. Jake Haynes seventh. Joshua Osborne though is the surprise qualifier for this race as, as an MG1 driver. He managed to even outbeat two C5, no three C5 drivers as he'll start off in eighth place. As far as points leaders coming into this race, as we're about to get the command to fire the engine as well, Jake Haynes will start seventh for class C5. For class RX, Dylan Poteet will be, as let's get the command first. Drivers, start your engines! Dylan Poteet will start all the way back in 29th place. The MG1 points leader, James Qualls, he'll start off from 20th and the MG2 points leader, Charles Sanford, still the points leader there, but he'll start all the way back in the 39th position. So we'll see what's going to happen there as we're getting ready to go green. O'Neill Balvin, Jessica Shelton, that is the top two. Jessica Shelton went to victory lane at the Blacklands Back Roads race. O'Neill Baldwin still looking for his first win of the season. Only two drivers have found victory lane twice this season. Charles Samper races one and two. Dylan Poteet races two and three. The Dodge Charger pace car will be peeling off very shortly. One thing I will forewarn you about this racetrack since it is 12 miles. Very difficult for them to be able to get very good camera views. You'll see a lot of close zoom-in shots like this one during the course of the race, but we'll do our best to try and make sure you can see all the action that's going on in this race. Also, with it being such a spacious racetrack, we may end up seeing more battles for particular division races. As the green flag is out, we're underway here at Desert Rally Raceway. Dylan Young already spreading it three wide utilizing the wideness of this racetrack. They're almost three, four wide back here already. Look at Jake, or Joseph Srigley, up the middle, four wide, as the C5 drivers try and work their way up to the front. Benjamin Miles, last week's winner, is there as well, as I believe the leader is Jessica Shelton. No, it's not. O'Neill Balvin, actually, with the drafting help from Johnny Gardner, has gone to the lead. These drivers trying to give each other as much room as possible. Let's see if I can find some good camera angles here. Basically, it looks like TV1, TV2, and spectator cam are all the same. So we're just going to have to deal with it. As you see them really spread out here up at the front. They're not really spread out near the rear, but man, this is going to be really close up here until these drivers start getting themselves somewhat spaced out. 
Wrigley side by side right now with Ryan Cooper as O'Neal Baldwin leads this contingency behind him. Baldwin still the leader. Shelton into second. Johnny Gardner is now third. Let's find our leader of RX. Well, actually, before we do that, look at Austin the Plant. The Plant was the winner of the MG1 division at. Uh, I believe it was Black Hills Back Roads. And he's right up here in the mix of the C5 drivers. That's got to be some bit of draft coming into play there. Looks like the RX leader right now is Joseph Bryant, but very close behind it was... Oh, someone just got turned off course! Someone just got turned off course! That might have been Shelton. I don't know for certain, but somebody went directly to the left and I think somehow managed to save it. Jake Haynes might have been one of them, along with Shelton, as now he's all the way back here at the tail end of the field. Hit you London, almost losing the draft, almost losing the, the group here. Had to have been Jake Haynes, and I think it was Shelton. No, it wasn't. It was Jake Haynes and O'Neill Balvin, who is on pit road. So the points leader in this division and O'Neill Balvin are both Maybe you could say out of this hunt now. Definitely O'Neill Baldwin. I don't know if Jake Haynes can catch up or not. Oh, look out. That was tight through this corner. They're all sliding up there. Joseph Bryant. Right now the leader of the RX division. As a matter of fact, he's only, I think, three points back from uh, Dylan Poteet for the points lead. Speaking of MG1, we know Austin the Plant is leading right now for that division. But there is the points leader, James Qualls. Trying to continue to hold his points lead, but he's got to reel in the 48 of Austin LaPlante in order to take his second straight victory in the MG1 division. There is LaPlante right there. Right now, Jessica Shelton out in front. Johnny Gardner, though, about to challenge for the top position. And here comes Dylan Young, Carson Gum as well. Gardner, Young, Gum have not won in the C5 division yet this season. So far, it's been Jake Haynes winning at uh, Rushmore, Shelton winning at Blacklands, and last week, of course, Benjamin Miles, who, let's see where he is. There he is. Right now, he is fifth place of the C5 drivers. As the battle is on for RX, Joseph Bryant and Stephanie Gardner still going at it. Meanwhile, behind them, you got Ian Dutta. Third place in RX, and he's now actually trying to challenge Stephanie Gardner for second place in the RX division here. Moving a little bit further right as he'll try and make it three wide there with the C5 machine as well of Joseph Srigley. Now Stephanie Gardner and Ian Dada trying to reel in Joseph Bryant. Got to be impressed with Austin the Plant right now. Talked about how Joshua Osborne had qualified his way up into the top 10 as an MG1 driver. Well, here's Austin LaPlante, who could maybe win the race overall. So far, every race has overall been won, and it pretty much has been expected to be won overall by a C5 driver. But right now, Austin LaPlante very much in the thick of this, right up here in the top 5 with four C5 drivers surrounding him. What if LaPlante could win this race overall? Haven't focused much on the MG2 drivers. Let's see who's leading that division. And we gotta go a long ways back, and it looks like it's the 46. Of uh, I still haven't looked to see if it's Luke or Leia Walker. L Walker, we'll say. But right behind is Charles Samper, who remember started this race all the way back in the 39th position. Well, he's now overall 22nd and trying to reel in the leader of MG2 division. So Charles Samper trying to win his third race in only four starts this season. Up at the front, they're starting to get racy again, I believe. Ian Dutta just took the lead in the RX division, bypassing Joseph Bryant. He did indeed. Shelton continues to lead the way here for C5. Benjamin Miles has now caught up into the top four, along with Johnny Gardner and Dylan Young. Miles looking for his 
second straight victory in this Class C-5 division. Brian Cooper in the 34 is also up here in the hunt. Jessica Shelton ended up having a really good race, of course, winning at Black Hills two weeks ago. Last week, however, ended up getting involved in an accident and finished many, many laps down. Trying to battle back here with his, her second win of the season. But look at the draft behind her. Dylan Young, Benjamin Miles, Ryan Cooper. They are there. Who's going to make the move? Will be the 24, the 41, the 34. As this four-car draft still remains. They're actually, I think, bump drafting. They are pushing each other down this straightaway, producing speed. And that's going to get them ahead of Johnny Gardner and Joseph Srigley and others as now they all fan out heading into the turn Dylan Young looking low for the lead Benjamin Miles the biggest loser on that one as his car slid way wide and I think Dylan Young may be able to clear Shelton no nope, Shelton battles back on the right side jump back again I believe Ian Dutta still holding on to the RX lead indeed he is Austin the plant still very much in command of MG1 how about the MG2 battle, though? Is that at all heated up between Charles Sanford and... Wait a minute. Daniel Voyle's off track. And he's going to bring it back up, and he gets into Isaac Romero, saves... Oh, that's not Isaac Romero. I'm sorry, that's Nick Alton. Alton saves it. All right, let's go back quickly and see if we can find where Charles Sanford's at. There he is, and the car he was trying to run down... I think he might have passed. Yes, he did. He did pass uh, Luke or Leia Walker, whichever the case may be. Charles Samper is MG2 leader once again. Right there, you got Carson Gum. You got Austin LaPlante. They are separating Ian Dutta from the car that's trying to run him down. Wait a minute. Did Ian Dutta get passed? I think Ian Dutta might have gotten passed by either Joseph Bryant or... No, he didn't. Where did... Where did Bryant go? Joseph Bryant is missing. Did he wreck with, uh... I'll bet you he wrecked with... Somebody. Yeah, he's way back here. And Stephanie Gardner's back here. I'll bet he and Stephanie Gardner wrecked with each other. Sam Young's way back here, along with Michael Norman as well. Baldwin's still on pit road. Battle on for the lead for C5. Shelton has it. Drafting help coming to Dylan Young in the form of an RX driver in Ian Dutta. We got one RX driver and one MG1 driver up in this lead group. LaPlante in the 48. Ian Dutta in the 31. This is exactly what both of them need is to be up in this lead pack where the speed is. Because then that keeps them away from anybody trying to challenge them for the top positions in their classes. But I wouldn't count out James Qualls. He's trying to reel in Austin LaPlante, and he is caught up on the tail end of this draft as well. So it may come down to LaPlante and Qualls for MG1. Ian Dutta, however, has run away with RX. We just showed you how uh, Joseph Bryant, Stephanie Gardner had wrecked. The closest competitor for the RX division right now against Ian Dutta would be Kyle Matthews. This group has not gotten anywhere close to being able to reel in that front group. As a matter of fact, in this second group, there is Charles Samper. The MG2 leader, driver that's trying to run him down, would be the 46 of Luke Walker. And there's your points leader in RX, Dylan Poteet, who at the current moment, I believe, would be running fourth, no, fifth place of the RX drivers. James Qualls has caught up with this group, and just ahead of him there is Austin LaPlante, trying to pick up his second win of the MG1 class. LaPlante, however, is trying to do the same. LaPlante won at Black Hills. Qualls won last week at Sonoma. Shelton continues to lead as Sam Young heads to Pitt Road. White flag will be displayed this time for the number 75 of Jessica Shelton. Will anyone be able to make a move? Ian Dutta moves up to second place. Could an RX driver win this event? Got Carson Gum, a C5 driver, drafting with him. This is in Carson's best interest, too, because maybe if Ian Dutta can challenge Jessica Shelton, then Carson Gum could slip on by and take the top position in the C5 class. 
Ryan Cooper right there as well, trying to keep within the slipstream of these top four. And James Qualls has gotten by Austin LaPlante. He's the new leader of MG1. The points leader of MG1 now out in front in his class. LaPlante right there. Whoa, LaPlante slips up. Nearly collected Johnny Gardner. As they go three wide, Gardner, Dylan Young, and Austin LaPlante. Still three wide. Jessica Shelton still continues to hold on to the lead. Ian Dutta now has Ryan Cooper helping him. White flag has still not yet been displayed. Lap has not yet been completed, which shows you just how much time these drivers have to work with. Still a lot of mirror driving yet to be done by the Mopar Dodge. And I'll tell you what, she's out to a pretty good lead right now. That may not be the best thing because if these guys can get into a tight draft on one of those straightaways, they could reel her in pretty quickly as that was Ian Dutta who actually just lost a ton of spots right there. As he went wide, Johnny Garner's actually got some damage on the front of his machine. Now for Ian Dutta, he's got to hope he doesn't get reeled in by Kyle Matthews, who does have a drafting partner, if you will, in Dusty Allen. Kyle Matthews is going to try and reel in the uh, Ian Dutta machine. As now this is a battle for MG1, LaPlante bypassing James Qualls. So LaPlante now back to the lead in MG1. Qualls right behind him, though. Let's see if Carson Gum, Ryan Cooper decide to work together to reel in Jessica Shelton. Still, we're on lap three. We have not yet completed it. So a lot can still happen here in this race. And look at the draft. Look how they're reeling in the 75. Carson Gum, Ryan Cooper working together as they're catching up to Jessica Shelton. And now Cooper steps out of line. That may have killed their momentum. They, I think Cooper stepped out a little too soon. Matter of fact, I'm not sure. He might be trying to get the draft off Jessica Shelton to get by Carson Gum. White Fly was actually just displayed moments ago. We are on the last lap of this race. Battle side by side for MG1. LaPlante and Qualls. Ian Dutta for RX trying to hang on. Kyle Matthews trying to have Dusty Allen help him reel him in. Charles Sanfer right there. No challenges whatsoever for him as he looks like he's going to very easily take the MG2 class win, his third of the season. And the battle still rages up front for C5. They are in a draft again. This time, Carson Gum, Ryan Cooper, Austin LaPlante, and Joseph Swrigley as Carson looks to the inside of Shelton going on the uphill. Can't tell if he's alongside. I don't think he is. He'll now try it and pull back in line, I think, behind Ryan Cooper. Heading into a left-hander. Carson Gum still remains in the draft of Jessica Shelton. He's got many more times to try something. The problem is he needs somebody to help work with him, and Ryan Cooper does not seem to be interested. So far this season, we've only had two drivers win multiple races of their class. Dylan Poteet did it last week at Sonoma after winning also the week before at Black Hills and we had Charles Sanfer start off the season winning at both Rushmore and Black Hills for the first two races. Right now we're en route to having three drivers go to victory lane for their second time of the season. Someone just spun! Who was that? Was that Qualls and LaPlante? It was! Qualls and LaPlante for MG1 just took each other out! And it was going to come down between those two! Now they're still the leaders for MG1. The next one to try and catch them would be Isaac Romero, who's trying to work here with Dusty Allen and Kyle Matthews. Can they reel them in, though, is the question. Qualls is somewhat up ahead. LaPlante right now, he is ahead of Qualls. But here comes the full head of steam for Isaac Romero. Could LaPlante and Qualls have just taken themselves out of this thing? Look at this at the front. Carson Gum literally getting shoved through the corner by Ryan Cooper. Cooper saying, make a move, Carson, as they are there. This is the closest they've been in the last lap or so to the back bumper of Jessica Shelton. Shelton looking for her second win. 
LaPlante looking for his second win. Sanford looking for his third. Ian Dutta right now leading the RX division looking for his first. There's LaPlante, there is Qualls, here comes Isaac Romero. Romero trying to get up here to take second place from the points leader James Qualls. They'll have a little ways to go to catch up to Austin LaPlante. Ian Dutta right now is in a beautiful situation. Oh, look out! There goes Dusty Allen! There goes Kyle Matthews off track! That was the only competitor right there for challenging for the RX lead against Ian Dutta. Next would be the points leader of that division, Dylan Poti, but he's so far back from Ian Dutta. Dutta now getting reeled in by Austin LaPlante. Qualls there, second for MG1. Sam Young, third for MG1. How about up at the front, new leader! Carson Gum has gotten around Jessica Shelton. Ryan Cooper moves to second. What's been looking like it's gonna be repeat winners, suddenly all of a sudden it's gone. Kyle Matthews eliminated from the RX division lead as he tried to reel in Ian Dutta. We got James Qualls, Austin the plant who wrecked each other. They've got Isaac Romero breathing down their necks. Here comes Shelton. She wants the lead back. Ryan Cooper moves to the outside line. Trying to get a run on Carson Gum. Can Carson hang on? He's finally been able to make the move. Will he be able to do some mirror driving? Shelton getting alongside here, but she doesn't have any drafting help. Joseph Strigley's actually helping the 34 on the right side. Carson Gum trying to pick up his first win of the season. Now Strigley's helping Shelton. Now Strigley puts it way wide to the left as he's trying to go three wide for second place. Now the top four will have to get single file down this straightaway. Dylan Young right now, fifth of the C5 drivers. There's the Indutta. Very much in control of RX. I doubt he's going to lose it unless something drastic happens. Austin the plant back in control of MG1. Isaac Romero actually moved by James Qualls for second place in MG1. Moved Qualls back to third. As far as MG2 is concerned, let's see what's going on there. Zach Buchanan's now the leader of MG2. Where did Sanford go? There he is. Looks like he's got a little bit of damage on the front end of his Toyota Camry. Gene Samper is right now, I believe, second in MG2. It's going to be between Buchanan and Samper, and they're side by side, four wide. Or is the race over? Race is over, actually, I think. They're all slowing down. Yeah, the race must be over. And I'm looking to see. Because I couldn't. I don't know where the start finish line is here. Stains are official. Races are over. Carson Gum will win C5, Ian Dutta wins RX, Austin LaPlante MG1, and Zach Buchanan is going to win MG2. So actually, all the scenarios we had of potential repeat winners, only one of them happens with Austin LaPlante. Everybody else is a first-time winner so far this season in Gum, Dutta, and Buchanan. Wow. Unbelievable. Take a look down at the bottom and you can see drivers who ran into hardships during the course of this race. Talked about Luke Walker. He was battling Charles Samper. He was the next competitor for that at that point for that division lead. Two laps down. You got O'Neill Balvin wrecked. Michael Norman, Stephanie Gardner, Sam Young. The RX division has really struggled. Look at here. You can even see all the way down here with Jessica Villanueva, Joseph Bryant, Seth Cole. RX division really has had a tough time. So Carson Gum picks up his first win of the season for C5. Ian Dutta, his first win of the season for RX. Austin Plan his second win of the season for MG1. And first win of the season for Zach Buchanan. In MG2, just holding off the Samford siblings, Gene and Charles. Charles with a third place finish. I think he'll still keep the points lead in that division. It'll be interesting to see about Jake Haynes in the 28 because Jake ended up finishing way back here. Where did he officially finish this race, Jake, in the 28? Did he even complete? I don't think he actually has even scored on here. I don't think Jake Haynes completed a lap. 
more than likely when he came to pit road, his pit stall was before the line and that they didn't even score him. They didn't. I think he's going to lose the points lead in C5. Dylan Poteet, though, was second in RX, so I think he'll still keep the points lead there. And I wouldn't be surprised in MG1 if it might be either LaPlante getting the points lead or maybe a tie between himself and James Qualls. LaPlante won the MG1 division. Qualls managed to finish in third in that division, but we'll see how it shakes out. But three different first-time winners here this season. Also, the plant's the only repeat winner for this race here at Desert Rally Raceway. Hope you guys enjoyed this race. If you did, be sure to give us a video like, subscribe, to become part of the crew today. What a crazy race this was. Here are your full facial results from today's event. 40th place was Jake Haynes, even though his name is not on there. I will make sure that he does get the points and everything, though, uh, and all that. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time for race number five at, you guessed it, a track I have no idea where we're going to yet. I hope you'll tune in for it. I'm Seth Cole. You've been watching the NRSL Reese's Late Model Series here on the Entry Sports Channel, offline racing at its best. <laughs>